this is Tyler Drown for the Sailing Vessel Duo in New York Harbor. And I have here the Canakit Raspberry Pi 3 Ultimate Starter Kit. I am building a onboard computer system for our sailboat here. And I ordered this Raspberry Pi in order to be the basis of that system. It comes with this board here, these things, HDMI cable, GPIO breakout board and ribbon cable, power supply, premium case, bunch of LEDs and a camera, two cameras. Looks like a heat sink here. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B and a USB micro SD card reader with a 32 megabyte, 32 gigabyte card inside, hopefully. Some literature, quick start kit, general assembly guide, a helpful little chart about resistor colors, and some more cables. So here we have the Raspberry Pi. And beyond the Raspberry Pi, I also bought this keyboard, the iPaz port, this 10 inch display, multi touch, this 3.5 inch display, and these came with uh, the 10 inch display and the Raspberry Pi both came with these power supplies. I'm going to have to change these and hook them up to our 12 volt battery system we have on board here, the Sailing Vessel Duo. And right now I am setting up the Raspberry Pi following the quick start guide. So I'll be changing this out, but the case that they brought with this uh, Canna kit is what I'll be using now. It comes apart into three, and you just stick it in thusly. Snap. There it is. So I've glued on the heat sinks and I've placed the Raspberry Pi firmly into the case here. If you also bought this kit, make sure that you don't miss the micro SD card in this pink bag here. It's easy to miss, it's easy to throw out, and it goes into this micro SD reader, which is ingeniously inserted into part of the port here. Here I've just turned on all of the components for the first time and nothing's happening other than the backlight of the monitor is on, these LEDs are on, but Still trying to figure out what I did wrong here. So I figured out what I was doing wrong. RGB on the display board here needs to be connected to the RGB ribbon contacts down to the RGB on the back of the display I was connecting to the other port. So now we have our installation screen.
Raspberryan is now being installed. Got my keyboard to work. Critical you turn it on in order for it to work. And the touch screen is working. The display is working, but the touch screen is not. Yet. So I have the Raspberry Pi up and running and was able to get the keyboard connected. Uh, this touch screen though, it still does not seem to work. I don't it's not plug and play. Uh, the touch screen properties of this uh, display. Um, I did knock my power strip off, which now seems to have deleted all of the icons and things aren't loading so I'm trying to figure out what happened there. I'm following a tutorial to install OpenCPM found at a King Tide Sailing website. I can share that link. And it's called How to Install OpenCPN on Raspberry Pi. OpenCPN is our chart plotting software. So I was able to fix the issue with my icons not loading by restarting the panel which can be done by this command LX panel CTL restart right now I am still having the OpenCPN is being installed here it takes a while So after crashing about five times trying to install this, I decided I would do it using SSH, logging in through PuTTY on my laptop here. Just turn it off. Now it is? Now we're rolling again. Okay. <laughs> here we go. So, here's the moment of truth. Oops. Open. Open. C. P. N. There we go. It's working. Except it shows us there's no maps installed. So it just shows us a giant blue expanse of the abyss. So here is our proof of concept. We've got our box here. And I have the uh, GPS dongle out here. As you can see, it shows the GPS knots. Now here we're driving. We're going uh, three knots. It shows compass he heading, the uh, speed over ground and course over ground. And there's your compass heading there. So I recently bought the DAISY AIS receiver. It's a little micro USB device that's uh, more or less plug and play. Um, and I've hooked it up here to the Raspberry Pi chart plotter, and here's our proof of concept. Uh, it wasn't working in my apartment, and I don't have an antenna yet. AIS is a uh, line of sight, uh, like other VHF. Uh, so I walked out here to the pier uh, for the Holland Tunnel. Not the best place to be testing homebrew electronic devices uh, in terms of optics, but uh, not a bad view either. Check it out. Here's the proof of concept. It's showing an unknown vessel underway. I believe that's a barge that just passed. And uh, it's showing up here. So here you can see that even without an antenna, 
I still have one target. I believe this is the uh, the barge that just passed, and it gives me the uh, speed over ground and uh, course over ground, and go to AIS here, target list, and gives me a little bit more information. I've moved to my boat yard here and added a cable to the DAISY AIS receiver and as you can see now I've got about 13 different targets on my list here. Um, and apparently names are only broadcast every six minutes so likewise names are a little slower to uh, enter into the system here. Here is a AIS alert showing me that there's a boat headed in my direction and I can acknowledge alert or silence. So I wound up breaking this LCD display. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one and I already got this junction box for a larger display. This is the Garmin GPS map 78SC and this is a serial to USB converter for getting grabbing uh, NMEA data and as you can see it's grabbing the GPS data even without the power hooked up here. So you can see what I've got here. Green to terminal 2, white to terminal 3, and black which is ground to terminal 5 here. I also got airplay working more or less. So I tried to use this serial adapter to get info off of my other displays. It didn't work, but here you can see a screenshot and another screenshot of AIS working. There's night mode. And here you see a vessel in New York Harbor. Here it is in the cockpit. Then I got this uh, splitter for AIS and VHF. And look at all those boats. Wow, lots of boats in New York Harbor. There we go. More boats. Here's the display. Not very good. I have fish. Well, the monitor's not on. Probably just using it to play music. There's the other side of that picture. There's another shot of it in action. And here I am at anchor in Block Island. Thanks for watching. Ultimately, that display does not work, so I'm just going to turn the Raspberry Pi into a dedicated boat computer that will multiplex data and do other stuff. No display. So here's a photo of me sailing in New York Harbor on Duo. Thanks for watching again.